Welcome to another Barker Gaming Commentary video. In this video, I'll be talking about the March 3rd um, la Andy launch video. In this video, um, I'll be giving some personal opinion on top of what AMD has announced. So, first, what did AMD announce in this March 3rd launch video? One, they announced that the 3000 CPU, excluding the APU, will be getting smart access memory. What do I think about this? This is a good thing, how AMD slowly makes an ecosystem for their product. Where if you buy an AMD CPU and p people find out, oh hey, there's some um, features which are kind of, um, kind of, um, within the, you know, validated by AMD to have work better with an AMD graphics card like the smart access memory. So yeah, this could be beneficial for AMD as the people who buy these things most likely would buy an AMD CPU and an AMD Radeon graphics card at once. Which is the unique um, thing about AMD actually, they're the only well, silicon manufacturer that right now makes both CPU and graphics cards. Alright, let's talk about the other thing, which is the AMD 670 XT. The spec, 40 compute unit, game clock at 2,424 megahertz, and has a smaller 96 megabyte infinity cache paired with 12 gig of GDR6 memory at 230p. So, what is this, what does AMD want, did with this founder's card? Well, the founder's card going to be a dual fan design and going to have a zero RPM mode. Well, on paper, this seems like a really, really good founder's card. Which, again, will make the AIB make a good MSRP card because if they make a card, AIB card that's as worse than the, than the AMD Founders card, well, guess what? No one's going to be buying them. So, this, and then we want, we're going to see the Sapphire, you know, the Nitro. And then the pulses where they have a slight increase in the MSRP. And yeah. The founder's I.O. seems to be from the renderer. 3 DisplayPort 1.4 and the 1 HDMI 2.1 port. Again, the MSRP for this card. Um, AMD for at least is... 479 US dollars. Yeah, um, uh, in the current market, yeah, I think it's gonna go higher. We all know what's up. So, then what else did they show off in the, in the launch video? Well, they showed off the uh, software suite, which is the AMD Ray Tracing, which is the, you know, AM the oh, more open standard right RTX unlike you know more easier more you know more inbuilt into Windows and the DX12 system instead of having some you know proprietary system like Nvidia which RTX system seems proprietary so good on AMD for supporting this open standard as well as, um, AMD finally showed off so Fidelity FX, which is, well, so upscaling. Again, they, I think, hopefully this thing works out of box and ain't like a hot disaster like what NVIDIA is, which is the DLSS 1.0 disaster. DLSS 2.0, yeah, it's a bit of a hit or miss. So basically, what I think, I am confident that AMD will eventually get this six down, get these, um, you know, ray tracing and all the 
um, Fidelity FX stuff all working in the 6000 series and hopefully by the next generation we really get the mature graphics cards in but in I oh by the way for anyone that was watching this Watching the video from AMD, I hope you, um, you know, taking a look at the end, end screen because it had all those terms and condition and as uh, well as it actually showed the way the AMD configured that, well, benchmarking system. And as well as, they also showed that they are, they have teased 6000 RDNA 2 mobile graphics card? Yay! You know, we could always have some competition in the laptop graphics card, you know? Yay for AMD! And hopefully we get some good for AMD laptops. Alright, so I hope you enjoy this video. And like and subscribe for more videos like this.